cannot understand that. Boy, what a big old slap you give in for your face. Lady, after we go on for you and go on with it. So, yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. So, the plankers are coming out and speaking about this apparent peace treaty between Ashanti 360 and Planka Boss Dana. Right? And a lot of them is upset about the peace treaty more than what is being shown on Facebook. Because according to how Facebook have it, according to how certain bloggers are portraying it, it seems as if all the plankers are in agreement with the peace treaty. All the plankers are very happy about what's going on. All the plankers have embraced 360. And apparently, there's more to meet the eyes than we're actually seeing. Because behind the scene, from what the streets are saying and what the streets are talking, a lot of majority of the plankers are upset. They feel disrespected. They felt as if for the past two years, they have been fighting for Donna. They have been disrespecting people. They have been creating havoc on Facebook in the name of Donna. And for in a split second... Donna is seen now embracing the same person or persons that has been pretty much scandalizing her and accusing her of many things, uh, which is not some nice things. And I'm going to hold my views on that as far as whether or not I believe those things. I'm going to keep my opinion to myself when it comes to that for the sake of this um, program that I'm doing here now. But whether she did or didn't do all the things that all these bloggers like Ashanti360 and many others have been accusing her of, the bottom line is the plankers still came out in droves to support her, to continue to support her business, support her cake business. They still continue to fight for her. They continue to degrade people for her. They put people's lives a living hell in defense of her. And here now, like I said before, in a split second, right before their eyes, she's embracing the same person who was her uh, uh, abuser and her accuser. So yes, um, one particular female came out really, really strong and she voiced her opinion about the whole entire matter. And I want you to listen to her and tell me if you guys agree with how she feels. Okay? Andana. Me cannot understand Dana. Boy, what a big old slap you give in for your face. Lady, after we go and see and go along with the people and fear you that me see a friend them. All the while you do the same thing. Lady, I want to you. We make you can't learn. We make you can't hear. I mean, I'm afraid for talk because it's a man of your fans. They might follow them are hypocrite. They are hypocrite. Today they say yeah, tomorrow they say no. They are not loyal. And what you are doing, you need to stop. You're slapping us in our face, lady. Your fans, like myself, you're slapping us in our face because me don't know what wrong with you. A friend you love so, a friend and company you love so. Every minute, you see them people who miss to try to tear you down and group up with other people and try to tear you down. When them are the people and when they group up with to tear you down, follow, them come and friend you and you accept it and come talk about peace. Which peace my ass? And you want to know where you follow the woman in a comment like, say, yeah, 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 and this and that. Lady, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know what's wrong with you. That's why you cannot stay out and mix up. Because you don't know yourself and you don't understand yourself. You cannot stay out and mix up. And you will never stay out and mix up. Because you don't know if you hold it on me. How can you? People will try to bury you every minute. And you and them, you see a hug up, hug up. When they team up with you and try to bury you. And then my who then team up with fall out. You see them run come friendly and you accept it. It's not all about peace. It's stupidity. It's stupidity. I mean, I want me to know if you are put on a show. But I need to tell you, lady. We find this very, very disrespectful and very, very ungrateful. Cut those things out. Cut those things 
out and I don't care who I come from because we have some other loyal fans and we so full and I want to lead her to all these things. And when time she reach in a some mix up and some disgrace on a same one turn on banner and criticize her, then I have to understand yourself. Then I stop do those things. Stop do those things. I need to see you. Stop do those things. Stop doing them things, their friend and company you love so. We can't understand the people that must spend years, years and years, group up with every vlogger, pay off every vlogger, for tear down and dry it down, pay all people for come and show, come talk and scandalize you. And you want them, me see, I go play their warm to you. I warm to you, where you dip on, I'm all you on, you lick your head or something. Lady, what happened? What is the wrong with that people are like, so nobody can call your name and tell you when you are the fucker, then you are the fucker. Cut that shit out. Cut it out. Cut it out, lady. You love friend and company too much. You must keep people out of fire. When time now she said them try to team up with you and try to drag you down and then come back, come, come friend. We think them come try to do. Just like with the big head one. With the big head one, we always have all the shades, them funny face. I see what she do, and I see many people talk to your neighbor. So what is wrong with the lady? I'm done Me chill up, I'm done. Okay. So you hear the frustration and the anger in this lady's voice towards Donna for embracing Ashanti 60 and trying to come to a peaceful resolution with him. Now, the question that I want to ask this lady is, did Donna ever ask you to fight for her for the past two and a half years? How many times have Donna come out, whether she means it or not, whether she was doing it just for show, whether she was just doing it for face value, but at the end of the day, this lady has said over and over again, stop fighting for me. I can fight for myself. Stop. Leave people alone. Don't go on the people page. Don't discuss people. Don't disgrace people. Stop. Stop it. I can defend myself. How many times have Donna come out and say that? But yet these people continue to do so. And even until today, they continue to do so. So what I want to ask her is, whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that you now feel the way you do? Hmm. Whose fault is it? I hope this is a lesson learned for all the rest of Plankers that's out there, that you cannot control what Donna does and you cannot control what others feel about her. You cannot control. The only person that you can control in this is yourself. And what you choose to do, you have to take ownership for that. Okay? So I hope you guys learned from this. Moving forward, Again, I hope we can all eventually one day find peace. But as long as drama sell, there will never be peace on social media. Stay blessed, stay safe, and until we meet again, have a blessed night.